Hi, let's have a sesh on break-even analysis, such an important topic for the finance unit and very likely to come as a question where you will be asked what break-even output is or what the margin of safety is. So let's go for an example and get to this stage so you fully understand how to get the marks that will come from answering these questions. So break-even analysis. You may be given the actual output. So the actual output here is 2,500 units. So that suggests that this company, this business, it produces, it makes 2,500 things, 2,500 units. That's its output. It's got fixed costs of £3,000. So remember, fixed costs are those costs that do not vary with output. And it's got a variable cost per unit, a variable cost per one thing of a pound. So every unit this company makes, it costs one pound in variable costs and a sale price of three pounds. So it's selling its products for three pounds. For break-even analysis, you're taking into account just one product that the business sells. So we've built a grid here, and based on this information we've just gone through, I want to fill it out to make it absolutely crystal clear on how you draw break-even analysis. So let's go. So, fixed costs. So if you make zero units, then the fixed costs will be £3,000. Because fixed costs do not vary with output, it doesn't matter how many things, how many units you make, the fixed costs will still be £3,000. Imagine that fixed cost was your rent. Whether you make zero things or you make 3,000 things, you still pay the same amount of rent. So let's just put fixed costs the same all the way through. So it'll be 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000 pounds. So the fixed cost, 3,000 pounds, therefore it goes the whole way. So if they make zero things, it's 3,000. If they make 3,000 things, it's 3,000. Now let's work out the variable costs. So this is VAR cost, variable cost, and it's total variable costs. So the variable cost per unit is a pound. So for every one thing that's made, it costs one pound. So if zero things are made, zero times one is zero. <clears throat> if a thousand things are made, then a thousand times one would mean thousand pounds is the variable costs. If you make 2,000 things and the variable cost per unit is a pound, 2,000 times 1 is 2,000. And so it follows that 3,000, it would be 3,000 pounds in total variable costs. Now we know that total costs is just fixed costs plus variable costs. So we add this column to this column to get this column. So if we do it here, fixed costs plus variable costs in this case would be 3,000 plus zero, so that's still 3,000 pounds. And in the second column, 4,000 pounds. And in the next column for 2,000 units, 3,000 plus 2,000 is 5,000. And in the final column, 3,000 plus 3,000 is 6,000. Now the next column we want to work out is the total revenue. And we know that revenue is the price. In this case, the sale price is three pounds and we times that by how many have been sold. So we assume that the output is all sold here. So zero times by three is zero. So if you make nothing, then you're not gonna make anything in terms of revenue. So clearly your total revenue will be zero. Now the next case is you have an output of a thousand units. And if you sold all a thousand, your sale price would be 3,000 pounds. A thousand times three, so three, pounds. Then, for output of 2,000 units, well, 2,000 units, if you sold them all at three pound a unit, then that is three times 2,000, 6,000. So we put 6,000 here. And in the final column, if you have an output of 3,000 things at three pound, then 3,000 times three is 9,000. Now it's this column, the total revenue, and this column, the total costs, that are the most important for break-even analysis. 
And what I've done on this grid here is build the lines. But firstly, I'll go through the axis. So you'll see here that on this axis, it is rev, revenue, and costs. Well, costs, because we're going to plot on the total costs and the total revenue line. And you can see here, I put a scale, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, but it is in thousands. So just note that with the dash three zeros, and it's thousand pounds. And on the other axis, I have done output, and that's measured in units, in the amount of things you make, and it's zero things, a thousand things, two thousand things, three thousand things. Now for break-even analysis, what you need to do is to plot the total revenue and plot the total costs. Now, if you were to just put these numbers in here, so at zero, 3,000, 1,000, 4,000, 2,000 would be 5,000 pounds, 3,000 would be 6,000 pounds, then it would look like this green line here. That says TC, so total costs. But we're also gonna plot a red line, which is your total revenue. So your total revenue based on when you produced and sold zero units, clearly you'd have zero pounds of total revenue. But when you sold a thousand units, a thousand times the sale price of three, came to three thousand, six thousand, nine thousand, and that would be the red line here. The thing that you need to be aware of and is so important is where these two lines intersect, because that is the break-even point, where the green line and the red line intersect. But what you need is not the break-even point, but the break-even output. And the break-even output is at this point of intersection, take it down to the output axis, and what is that level of output that leads to this break-even point? And that level of output is, in this case, straight between 1,000 and 2,000, and is clearly 1,500. 1,500. So the break-even output is 1,500, and you need to ensure that you put units at the end. It's 1,500 units. Now, the other thing that we need to know is margin of safety. Margin of safety is simply how many units less you could make before you start to make a loss. And the way to simply calculate that is take the actual output, the actual output you are making right now, which is here, 2,500 units. And it's simply 2,500 units minus the break-even output. So 2,500 minus the break-even output, which is 1,500 units. So 2,500 minus 1,500 comes to 1,000 units. You never forget the units. So your margin of safety is a thousand units because it suggests that your breaking point is where these two lines cross, or the total cost and total revenue cross, which is here, and it's the difference between that and here, which is 2,500 units, which is your actual output, 2,500 units, your actual output, and this difference, that is the margin of safety. And if we put that in numbers, that's 1,000 units. Important things to also know is if you take the break-even point that is here, everything to the left, so when you make less units, well, the gap here, that would be making a loss. That symbolises the loss. And it also shows you that as you make more units, your loss is getting less until you hit your break-even point. And every unit thereafter, you start to make a profit. And the profit is widening as you make more units in this situation. Important things to know. Break-even output, just simply with the two points cross, that's the units, never forget the units, and the margin of safety, the actual output minus the break-even output. I hope that helps with break-even analysis. Make sure you stay tuned and check out the video on break-even pros and cons, because that could also be a longer question in your exams. Good luck.